Spring is here, the warmer weather is just around the corner and this is the time pantry moths come out of hiding. If you open up your pantry and see one pantry moth, rest assured there are hundreds in there. So don't think just by taking out one packet or one item that you see a pantry moth in that you are saving your pantry. You have to get everything out, declutter it, clean it, organise it to get rid of that pesty thing. Hey Anita, well this is our pantry today, family of four, pretty average looking pantry I'd say. It is, you know, for a family of four, they've got the bits and pieces from naughty stuff to healthy stuff, they kind of have a good balance what's happening in here. Would you say this is a well organised pantry? I can actually see she's tried to organise stuff, so she has put some things together and sorted in like items, but to be honest with you, we can take this to the next level. I have open containers and open zip locks. Things are not sealed properly, food is not protected, so pantry moths have a place to breed. The second issue I see in this pantry is that I can't see everything, so things are getting lost at the back here. We all need a pantry that has a bit of depth to it to be able to fit the things we need, like cereal boxes and stuff. But we need to make sure we can see everything, so I want to show you some neat tips and tricks for that. Most pantries these days are being built with drawers. They're quite handy and hold things and you can organise them beautifully. But when they end up like this, really, it's just become a big mess. We're going to put in separators. We need to see exactly what's going on in here. OK, time to get everything out of here. Any tips for how we should handle that? First of all, we need to have a clean bench space. We're going to set up garbage. We're going to have sorting containers. So as we declutter, we're throwing out and sorting at the same time. So this is expired and opened, it has to go to the bin. So this mum has tried to organise her drawer and I see this a lot. So she's used little bits of containers to get some sort of division in here. But she hasn't actually used containers that have leveraged the height of this drawer. So once the crackers or snacks have reached that top level, it's become a jumbled mess. I'm going to organise it that we're using the whole space, height, depth and width. Okay, so you've pretty much decanted everything that was in the pantry. We have gone through everything and it's all ready to go back in. You don't think that's just too big a job for people to be worrying about? No, because you know what, that if you invest the time properly and you buy the right products, you're going to save so much money in the long run because you'll be able to keep control of everything that's going on in there. These are flip tight containers from Howard Storage World and they are great because they are clear, they come in all different sizes, but most of all they come with a silicon seal. The best thing about a silicon seal is because silicon doesn't lose its integrity like other seals will. This actually keeps it nice and tight, so as you put the lid on, it then expands the seal to get that great tightness. So it's important that your pantry containers are clear so you can see what's in them, but you still think it's crucial to label them? Yes, because you know what? There's a family living here. So if we want to keep things organised, we want to give everyone an indication of what we've done so they can keep the system in place. These fabulous labels are made by ingoodorder.com.au. Have a good think of what you want your, you know, you want your labels to look like. Get online and order them. So we're going to work our way through this pantry from the bottom to the top and I'm going to show you how you utilise every nook and cranny in this pantry. We're going to start on the bottom drawer with these mesh pantry baskets from Howard Storage World. Remember earlier I was saying that we didn't utilise the height in this drawer? Well now we've got the solution for this. I chose these particular mesh pantry baskets because they fit perfectly in the size and they're also aerated and we can see exactly what's going to be going on now. These storage solutions are rusty containers from Howard Storage World. You might think, why have I particularly used this in a drawer? It's because it has the clear lid. So when we're looking down from above, we can see exactly what's going on in here. Most kitchens are now being built with drawers and they are a great way to store you know, pantry items. But if you're not storing it properly, you ended up with that mess like we had before. What do you have in mind for our next drawer? Oh, this is one of my favourite drawers because it's the perfect height for the kids' snacks. 
Having a snack drawer in a home really helps kids to have that initiative in the kitchen. So if one of your children say, Mum, I want a snack, you say, go to the snack drawer and they can find exactly what they want. So will we use the mesh baskets again? Yes, but we're actually going to go a bit deeper into the organisation of this so the kids can really see what's going on. So I've separated everything. I'm actually going to do about five sections of this. So we'll have fruit bars, muesli bars, popcorn, you know, little chippies or whatever, but they can get in there and see exactly what they want. So let's move on to our next drawer. Do you mind opening that, Suze? Oh, okay, so this one's quite shallow. It's shallow, and as you saw earlier, nothing really was going on in here. They didn't know what to do with it. I've come up with a great solution. We're gonna store our spices here, and I've got an expander spice drawer organizer that's gonna utilize all this space. Okay, so now we're on to the first level of the shelving area and I'm going to use this for cereals. On purpose? Have you chosen that? Definitely level? on purpose because I want the kids to be able to get their cereal, make breakfast on their own in the morning. Anita, it does look amazing, but it has to be said, there is a lot of wasted space back there now. I know, I knew you were going to ask that, but don't forget we did declutter and we got rid of a lot of things. I wanted to leave some room because I know she's going to go shopping again. That space at the back is used for when you bring in the cereal, so you can actually put the cereal box behind it, so you can restock as you go. So look at this, look how deep it is and things really get lost behind here. We're going to be using a Made Smart three-tier shelf organiser from Howard Storage World so we can utilise the depth and the height. I'm going to use it for the cans, the oils, the vinegars and sauces, all those things that we saw we had four or five of expired before. It will never happen again if we organise it properly. So this is our prime real estate. It's for things we use most often, like our cereals, etc., or things daily. Anything above our head are things we use less often, things we use monthly, like baking, um, stock, or partyware. So do you have any techniques for storing the partyware and that sort of stuff? Absolutely. I'm using a mini organiser from Howard Storage World. I measured this up properly and the wide ones fit perfectly. I've labelled them and they've got a beautiful um, area you can reach into and bring everything down safely. So now look at this. This pantry is completely organised but not only that it's ready for spring and a pantry moth won't even set foot in here now.